What's your name, sir? Uh, my name's Luke. How's life going, Luke? That's uh, good. It's good. Have you ever been in trouble, Luke? Uh, I've been in trouble a few times, yeah. When's the last time you got in trouble? Uh, last time I was in trouble was like a year ago. What happened, Luke? And then yesterday. Oh. <laughs> um. So a year ago, I, uh, I, uh, I committed arson. <laughs> Why did you commit arson a year ago, Luke? I committed arson, like. I don't know. It was complete insurance fraud. I'm going to be honest with you. Did it work? It it, it actually <laughs> did work. I was compensated $300,000. Had, what did you do with that $300,000 that you were compensated <laughs> after committing insurance fraud? I invested it into stocks. Okay, what'd you do yesterday? Yesterday, I, uh, I, I, so I try to live no, not November every day of my life, and I kind of, uh, I kind of gave in. Okay. You know what I mean? How did that get you in trouble? Were you under a bridge? It got me, no, it got me in trouble with the Lord. I feel like I have sinned. I feel horrible, man. Yo, Tom. I don't yeah. understand what's so funny, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Luke. I'm trying to I'm trying to pull together your 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 incidents seem very, very real. And um Okay. You know, of course, I'm not your lawyer. I don't know what state you're in. And I can't give you legal advice. And what you just said was to approximately, I don't know, give or take 500 people. But if I was your lawyer, I'd probably tell you not to admit to getting uh, committing arson and committing insurance fraud uh, to the public. You know, that's well, especially. Yeah. So but, I actually but, have a but, question. Okay. Okay, so is this illegal? Like, how illegal is this? Like, how much trouble could I get in for this, okay? So, per se, I had $10 million, okay? Okay. And I paid an appraiser $15,000. Okay. To appraise a painting for $3 million. Okay. And I donated that painting for $3 million, and I have a $3 million tax break for a painting that was worth, like, 20 bucks. Um, well, you could get into a lot of trouble if you got that far. Yeah, what, if, what if nobody found out? Well, if nobody found out, then you wouldn't get into any trouble. Okay, so. I mean, that's like anything, you know. If, I, if somebody did find out, how many years of jail am I looking at? Probably, probably just depends on where you did it. Did you cross state lines? Is it a federal offense? Who's your prosecutor? Um, it's going to be, I mean, it could be a, a wide, wide, I mean, if you're committing tax fraud, uh, that which you would be by not, um, by not paying your taxes to the federal government, you would go to the federal, uh, it'd be a federal crime, which is a lot more severe. There's no parole in federal court for federal crimes. Um, okay. I mean, you, I don't know exactly how many years you would get probably the nature of your, um, you know, but y y I mean, you would definitely go to jail. Okay. So I also have another question for you guys. Okay. Um, do you ever just like set up a lawn chair in the shower and sit in the shower? No, my no. shower is not even big no. enough for a lawn chair. No. Alex, I want to, I want to, I just, just as a general, just as a human, 
as as a wannabe investor, tell me where you invested your three hundred thousand dollars from your from your alleged, uh, which we can't confirm mm -hmm. for legal reasons because I don't want to get in trouble. From your alleged insurance fraud, where did you invest your three hundred thousand dollars? I am also curious um, about this. Well, I invested some of it into Tesla and Dow Jones. Uh, S and P five hundred was another one I was looking into. So well, you're an Apple, you're an like, index fund guy. So, but it honestly, it's honestly kind of it's honestly kind of sucks because the stock prices have been down lately. But but you said you invested a year ago. Where are you when you invested? I mean, are you up? Are you up? I'm, How, I'm, has I'm your money down. been in the market for I'm twelve down. months? For I am down recently. Right, recently, but I'm talking about overall. I mean, do you have a long term stock portfolio, or I mean, what, what's your end game? You know, would you like to retire somewhere someday? Would you? Well, the main the main goal is to you know just I don't know. It's something I've always been interested in since I was a young and I remember being four years old, reading about Tesla on the internet, and um, I figured it was a great idea to you know invest. So Tesla went public in like 2010. So if you're three or you four years that? old, are you, you like 14? You know that. Can you prove it? No, I'm using circumstantial evidence. Or not even circumstantial evidence. Direct evidence. I'm a lawyer, man. Come on, you know I got to ask these questions. Luke, I have a question. Yeah, what's that question, man? What is your relationship like with God? Man... Every single day I wake up and I pray to the Lord Jesus Christ that he forgives me for all my sins because Lord knows I'm a sinner. What, what do you think pissed God off more between the arson and the masturbation? Well, I don't think he knows what arson is. You don't think God, God invented arson? Have you not heard the story of the burning bush? <laughs> I have. I faintly remember it though. I was I was around four years old, three maybe. Just around the time when you started reading about Tesla. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> well, Luke. Uh, you know, good luck. Why do you say that? You know, because I... You worried about me? I'm worried about those around you. I hope they're fine. I hope they're fine too, Luke. They should be good. Well, uh, look, stay safe, and, um... You too, bro. You know, don't piss off God again. I'll try not to, man. I'm gonna live for you, Gekko. <laughs> By the way, I like your tie. Thank you. I love and you, attorney, Luke. I'm not gonna lie, you do need a haircut. Your sides are looking a little long. Oh, wow. Thank you. I appreciate it. But thank you guys for all the advice. Um, honestly, what I would do is I would get a beanie and I would pull it down over your eyebrows, <laughs> get a baggy pair of pants and a flannel and only button the top button. I think it would complete the look. <laughs> and as for you, Gecko, you look amazing today, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, take care. All right, you, you guys have a great day, man. All right, peace.